you know, there might be a lot of fun in, ta in taunting lowell cows. I can understand, you know, the appeal to it in such a way. But a lot of people, they don't realize what they're doing because a monster is not as hard to create as you might think. And there are some things that are humane even in a monster. And a lot of these people who taunt those who they call lull cows, they're basically taunting someone who's off by a lot because they're only off by a little bit is essentially what's happening. It's not a full-fledged human being that has joy of their own. And, you know, a lot of people, they laugh. At people like Cyrax, people like Christian, people like Drekken Lord, and rightfully so. Well, let me just... Uh, explain to you that if you was just off by a little bit you know that there, there, there's there's a lot of these these people that seem almost perfect you know they meditate and stuff every day you know and they and i'm certainly not saying i'm perfect but you know if you're off in your chemistry just by a little bit you can be a lot like i was and you can be a um a pornography addict. That's just one example. And you can be someone who taunts those who are way off because, of, because there's no joy of your own. If you're off even more still, you could become someone who becomes an embodiment of their fetish. A lot of these are in the furry and brony and weeb communities, although not using this as a blanket statement, but I'm not necessarily saying that it can't be a blanket statement. It really all depends. You'd have to understand the culture a little better to determine whether or not this is the truth. If you were off even more still in your chemistry, you could have been born a Christian, someone who is not only an embodiment of their own fetish, but has so little joy of, of their own that they have to create a world around themselves that doesn't reflect the world that they're in, which is a miserable existence. If you were off even more still, you would behave a lot like uh, Creo, uh, what, 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 what was his name? Cura, Cura Wolf. It's about as opposite of Korea as you can possibly get. I don't know why Korea came to my mind. I guess because I don't think about Cura Wolf that much. Uh, a guy who basically did things even worse than Christian. He tried to rape his younger, um, I don't know what it was, cousin or whatever, and also raped his dog practically to death. And if you were off even more still, the sexual deviant part may or may not fall off anyway. It really depends on how insane you go but you would become someone who has absolutely no joy of their own whatsoever, and you would become a one-woman vigilante, a complete vampire who has to suck the life out of everyone who comes to her channel and always make herself a victim simply because such a person has no happiness of their own whatsoever. They are completely... The dopamine and stuff is completely... Out. 
And I know that, you know, there are some things in Christery that are funny. There's some things, you know, about Cyrax that might be funny, you know, the way he acts and stuff. But I'm telling you, taunting such people, all because you were off by a bit less than they are, is not the answer. And doing such a thing is very despicable. It can actually make them go off even more and create an even bigger um, uh, mess. And you are responsible for this. And those who think that they're not getting, those that think they're getting by scot-free, just, just so you know, you can fool everyone you might can even fool the cops, but you can't fool your own mind. And in order for someone to become a person who taunts people, they have to first enslave themselves by giving away their joy to external nonsense. So think about that next time you taunt these so-called lull cows. It's not worth it, and... Um, I mean, if you, I, I mean, if, if you sort of, I wouldn't say look down on them, but if you kind of don't fancy what they do in sort of a playful manner, in a joking manner, it's one thing. But if you're constantly putting the person down, it's not productive. Okay, and that's really all I wanted to say about that.